please note that for each method, the processes must be done separately. First thing you'll want to do is find out your Windows PowerShell version. Click the search bar and type PowerShell and identify one that's version 3 or later. If your PowerShell looks like this, then you'll need to download the latest version. Go to this link in the description to do so. This link is a direct download, just so you know. After installing, carry on with the rest of the video. For this tutorial, I'll be modifying some music. We'll start with the export process. Skip to this timestamp here if all you need is the metadata process. Find the folder where your files are, then select them, hold shift and right click either the first listed file or some empty space. Then click copy as path. Now open notepad and paste. Highlight one of the common values, either the directory, the extension, and all the quotation marks, and copy it. Click edit, replace, then paste that into the find option. Then simply leave the replace option blank. Repeat this to delete all common values until just the file name remains. This is all just to make things easier, because to my surprise, I found no way to copy this info from the file within Audition. This step will also help with the metadata process. Now open Audition and open your project. The track number on each clip is what each clip's name will be on the file export. In order to quickly rename each track to what you actually want it to be, refer to the notepad file we just made. Select all your desired clips by either clicking and dragging the mouse, holding control and clicking specific clips, or control A to select everything. Click File, Export, Multitrack Mix Down, Selected Clips. At the top option, File Name, Adobe thought it would be a really cool and helpful idea to force everything written before the dot plus an additional underscore to the front of every file name. However, the remedy for this is directly linked to the PowerShell stuff I mentioned at the start of this video. For this tutorial, I would suggest changing that info to a single character or a small string of characters that you know you won't put in any of the file names. In the mix down options, click change. The mix option here is totally unnecessary unless you want a copy of all your clips overlaid in addition to the other files. To disable this kind of file from being exported, make the checkbox blank. Scroll down to the track option and you'll see all clips that are ready for export. If some tracks are grayed out, double check you have everything you want selected prior to exporting. And at the bottom of this dialog, double check once more just to make sure you have the selected clips option chosen. Now click OK. Now to get rid of those stupid proprietary characters at the front of every file's name. Find the folder where they were exported to, then hold shift and right click on some empty space. Click open PowerShell. Again, the version that's 3 or later. Now I'm going to give you a small piece of code which is in the description where you can follow along with and full credits to Team How To for this one. I'll link their video and channel below. So thank you guys so much for this tip. You guys are legends and without you this video would not be happening. So this is the code here. Uh, the important stuff to note is after the asterisk that is the file type that you're trying to change. If it's WAV, you type WAV. I've got MP3, so I wrote that down and so on. And inside the first pair of quotation marks is the part of the file names that you're trying to change. And in the second pair of quotation marks is what you're changing it to. And this command will change that part of the name for all files of that a specified file type within this folder. So I'm going to leave the second pair empty because I'm trying to delete something. And in the first pair, I'm going to put in those three cues I added earlier. Then hit enter and that should be it. Remember this method will only modify the exact string entered in the first pair of quotes, so it's not like it just deletes every character written within the quotes, it just goes after the exact string specified. Now on to the metadata. Reminder that for the metadata process, only do this before or after editing any audio, because when exporting multiple files, only the metadata panel of the multi-track session will be saved, which is not individually editable and is set to nothing by default. And if you had metadata before trying to edit multiple files, the data will be overwritten by what's on that panel. 
However, the method I'm about to share will be just as easy to perform regardless of whether you do it before or after editing, so long as you made the aforementioned notepad file. Open Audition and click the Open Folder icon, the first folder without the arrow, and find your files. Then select all your files and hit Enter. If you're working on a multitrack session, simply click the Waveform button. Afterwards, double click a song and go to the right panel, Metadata. If you don't see this panel, press Ctrl-P, or alternatively, click Window and select Metadata. Use Riff if you have file types other than just MP3. Make sure it's set to standard. If all you have is MP3, then use ID3 to save yourself a little bit of time. For this part, refer to the notepad file. For Riff, the display title is the title of the song, and the original artist is the band name. ID3 should then be pretty self-explanatory. Double-click the next file and repeat this process. Pressing Ctrl-S will only save the song you have currently selected, so press Ctrl-Alt-Shift-S to save everything. And if you look at the folder with your files, you'll see everything's already changed. That's it, you are done. You do not need to export anything. If you were never editing audio, you can even delete everything in the left panel if you need to do things in batches, and all the changes remain. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please subscribe to my OnlyFans.